Hello, welcome to this presentation on solving multi-stepped inequalities. We're going to work a couple of examples. Some of them are going to involve the distributive property. Right, let's get started. Solving inequalities are really just, it's pretty much just like solving equations, except the only difference is when you divide or multiply both sides of your inequality you flip your inequality sign. So let's, so like this is an equation, right? Negative 2x is equal to 4. You divide both sides by negative 2. x is equal to negative 2. But let's take this and you got 2x. Say it's greater than 4. Divide both sides by negative 2. You flip your inequality. And now we know that x is less than negative 2. And notice we divide, in this case, we divided both sides by the negative. If you had 2x is greater than negative 4 divided by 2, your inequality stays the same. So number 1 here, 5x minus 6x, well, that's going to be greater than 4 or bigger than 4. Just like solving equations, you're going to combine like terms first. Remember, your like terms are constants like you know three and five those are like terms or they're numbers with the same variable raised to the same power so this 5x and minus 6x they're like terms because they've got the same variable raised to the same power so that's going to be a negative 1x is greater than 4 or if you want you can write it as negative x is greater than 4 divide both sides by negative 1 and remember we're flipping the inequality. So we know x can be any smaller or less than negative 4, right? Don't forget that negative sign. And that's a open dot. The reason it's open is because it's because there's not a bar here. And to figure out what side we shade, just plug in a number that makes makes it true. Is that a true statement? Yes, that's a true statement. Because negative 4 is bigger than negative 5 because negative 4 is closer to 0. Let's do another example. Promised you one with the distributive property, so let's, um, let's go with, with 6 here. You want to distribute your 6. So 6 times k is 6k. You got a positive 6 times a negative 8, which would be a negative 48. And we know that's all equal to a negative 96, right? Or not equal to, but greater than or bigger than negative 96. So when we do this, we know it's got to be bigger than a negative 96. So now we're just going to solve. That's a 4, right? So we're going to add a 48 to both sides. So now we got 6k. And what we know about 6k, it's going to be bigger than a negative 48. So you got 6 times k, the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we're dividing both sides by a positive 6. That becomes a 1. So what we know is k is going to be larger than a negative 8. So we got our negative 8. Is this a closed or open dot? It's open because it's greater than if it was... If we had that little greater than or equal to, it would be closed, but we don't. So it's open. And to figure out what number to figure out which way to shade, just plug in some numbers. Well, negative 7. That is bigger than negative 8 because it's closer to 0 on the number line. So you've got a 0 out here, right? So we shade in this area. Now if we plugged in negative 9, See, that does not work, right? So, you know, just just take a second and plug in a number. You'll get it right every time if you do that. And then let's look at 10. It's our last example. And you should be able to do 10, even though we had in class talked about inequalities with variables on both sides. If you know that these things work just like equations, Except, you know, when you multiply or divide across the inequality side or both sides by a negative, you flip the sign. You should be able to reason this one out. And I would probably put this on a quiz just to, just to 
test you. See if, see, if, see if you're paying attention. You got a negative times a negative, that's a positive. So you got 21a, negative times a negative, so a positive again. It's another 7 times 3, so I know that's 21. And what I know is this number here is going to be smaller than this number, or we say less than, right? And, you know, let's, with inequalities, strive for positive coefficients. You don't have to. But if you get a positive coefficient, you're going to cut out that step where you have to flip your sign. One less thing to remember. So I'm going to subtract 8a. And, you know, these brackets, these things here just mean subtract, right? So 21 minus 8. What's 21 minus 8? Help me out here. So that 13. Yeah, it's 13. Plus 21, oh, I forgot my A, 13A, plus 21 is bigger than negative 5. So now we're going to subtract 21. So now we got 13A is less than negative 26. So you got 13 times A. What's your inverse operation of multiplication? It's division, so we're dividing both sides by a positive 13. So what we know is a is less than a negative 2. And that's less than, right? There's no equal. So once again, we got a closed dot to figure out our solution. It's a negative 3 is less than negative 2, right? So we got my negative 3 here. And then we're going to shade in that area. All right, I'm not going to work any more examples, but like 12 here. That's a closed dot. 13's the closed dot. And they're closed dots because they're because they got this little bar here, right? Because it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. When you have when you have these signs, it's a closed dot, and it's closed because that closed dot is encompassing that value you know it's say like if here this would mean and I don't know if this is the right answer or not just example this means this is negative one and everything bigger this would mean everything up to negative one but not negative one so keep that in mind the worksheets on the website click on the YouTube description link, you can pull it up. Good luck, practice, and have a good day.